Well, today is May 31st and the river finally dropped. It's dropped, it's dropped about a foot since last night. And the carnage, that you, well there is a chicken coop right there. Uh, what we call the docking station that used to be up against the greenhouse. Uh, as you notice, the greenhouse is gone. These are the planter beds that were, I removed all the soil out of there, uh, the topsoil, and then dismantled the bed and Marsha and I, and then he uh, pulled them out. This is the, uh, <coughs> the chicken coop, which when I built, I was anticipating this. So it's uh, just a matter of uh, all the frames that just screwed, three gold screws, to make my chicken coop for future reference. And here's the entrance to the chicken coop. And this is the final slab that's left. It looks like a diving board. Uh, not exactly what you'd want to use as a uh, club med swimming pool. But who knows, they've got a polar bear club every now and then. So what I will do is I'll pan down the river so you can see. And there's how much there. That's the trees that are right on the point here. There used to be a stand of trees and of course it's come in. Our boat launch is gone. And Here we are looking upriver. There's the garage over there in that left hand corner. So that's it. I hope to get that cleaned up today. I mean I don't like an eyesore. Uh, it was kind of funny the way the uh, greenhouse went out. It uh, started creaking and cracking about an hour, around maybe four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, Mark came over and we were standing there and we had worked in it to take, you know, the chicken coop apart and all that. And uh, he says, you think we could go in there? I said, no, nah, I don't think I would now. Well, we hadn't talked about that. A half hour later, and down it went. It was, I mean, it was so instantaneous. If somebody had been in it, they could they could not have even jumped for the door. I mean, that thing just the minute the water hit it, it just uh, pulled it right in. And Mark says, Henry, you really built things well. That thing held up completely and was pulled in in one swoop, a whole greenhouse went down, spun around, hit the bank, and by the time it got about 200 yards down, it was all demolished, which stands to reason.